What's going on today, guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's episode of Breakdowns with Brian, we are going to be going over my 2016 F-150. Um, but this is going to be for any truck, um, any SUV, any Jeep, anything like that, because we're going to be going over the bull bar. Um, this one is uh, mounted on the front plates, so I had to take off the tow hooks uh, that are underneath it, because that's where this one mounts here. Um, we're not really going to go over the bull bar too much because I have a video on some accessories with that in it. Uh, I do like it. Uh, I really, really bought it mainly for the light strip. And if someone just happens to back into me, all it hits is this and it doesn't damage the bumper. Even though, like I said, I've got a 2016 and the bumper is uh, steel. So as you can see, it's got a lot of little dings and nicks from rocks and stuff. So you never know, uh, maybe at some point here in the future, we'll get that replaced as well. And we'll put a, an aftermarket one on. But for today, we're just gonna be going over the wiring. When you buy a bull bar with a light, it's gonna come with uh, the wires. So the wires are gonna go through here and you can really run them however you want. Uh, I'm not gonna get too much into the running of them, but I've got them ran up through here. It's gonna come across under all the shielding. That's probably gonna be your best bet is to um, run it straight up because the wire is on this side. So it's ran under here, it comes up through here and you can hide it under all of this here. We'll come over here and here's the wire that I've got for the light bar. This is gonna be your relay. You're all, it's also gonna come with the fuse. Now, I don't know if every setup is gonna be like this one, but this particular bull bar is. I will put a link in the description for my bull bar. Uh, so if you, um, maybe the company makes uh, basically the same one just for every other vehicle out there, and it's gonna have basically the same setup. You're gonna have this one here, which is going to be your bull bar light. It's gonna come into here plug it in here. I've actually mounted it to my catch can here, but you can really mount it anywhere. Uh, you can't where the wires aren't going to get wet or anything. Um, now the wires coming off of the fuse here are going to be your ground and your hot. They're going to come also into here and then they're going to come out here. Now when they come out, they're going to be red, white, and black. And I have them ran this way through here. I've got them ran all the way over here to the inside. Uh, let's see, it's ran behind the brake booster through here. And let me see if I can get you down in there and see where it's gonna go to. Right beside the big opening there. Let me see if I can move the wire. That wire right there. Now the switch that it comes with it, uh, I actually thought the switch went bad, uh, but it was actually the connector. So let's go over this really quick. Um, the connector that they had from the black, white, and green or blue that came over here, there was a connector here. Well, that connector had gotten corroded and it actually uh, got so corroded that it wouldn't turn on the light anymore, uh, even with me having it taped up. So I don't know if you want to put extra tape on it. I don't know if you want to cut the wires, strip them back and solder them together, uh, but I would be cautious about that as well. Um, now, so the switch that they sent me was just a push button. Uh, it was just off and on. Um, and I mounted it here because I ran it down through here and we'll get to that. And I mounted it here with a double-sided sticky tape. Uh, the only issue with that, with moisture and the heat, the sticky tape fell off and there was no more sticky to it. So it was kind of just dangling there. Um, so after quite a while, I went out and I bought something like this or well, I bought this, but so they have one that's got you know, six switches in it, that's got 10 switches in it. The ones that doesn't have the USB and USB for the charging port. I wanted this one because sometimes when you're on the road, 
the wife and kids have all the other chargers. You can at least have yourself one, uh, especially if you use your phone for like GPS and you have a GPS mount here. Uh, that's nice because you can just run your wire straight up through here. <clears throat> so this one, uh, the power is connected, uh, but since there's nothing going to it, it doesn't matter. This one's not gonna do anything as you can see the voltage there. Now, as soon as we do this one, which is the hooked up to the light, the voltage is going to drop. As you can see there, it would drop to zero or 0.1. And we'll come in the front and we will see that the light bar is on. So now, how I did this. Let's go over this real quick. I used rivets in it. Uh, they had screws to go with it, but... I didn't really like the screws in it. Um, I figured at some point they would probably just rattle themselves out. Best way to do this one here, if you're only gonna use the one, I was gonna hook, I was gonna use this one at a later date, um, possibly for some like under lights on the truck, um, if I wanted to have them while I was driving, but I'm not sure. But I didn't want one of them and then have to maybe later go buy a second one. So this panel here, uh, and it's it's probably going to be for every vehicle. This panel here is just going to pop off. Um, it's just some clips in it. Uh, my only thing is is room. Um, when you, depending on what kind of vehicle you have, some people have them in the uh, the liner here uh, at the top. Some people have them um, like mounted here. If they don't have any of these switches here or maybe mounted on the other side there, that wouldn't have been too bad if you had like a two or a one switch. Um, but this is how it's wired in. Um, with this uh, wire that they gave me, it's, uh, for, it's, it's black to black uh, for ground, blue to, or blue to white, and then white to red. Uh, like I said, I only ran it just through there. It comes in through here. Um, this piece here will give you this, will give you these here. Uh, they're not the best, but I used them. Uh, unfortunately, um, when I wanted, this is the place I wanted to put the switches uh, by my feet so I can just uh, toggle them on and off. As you can see here, there's a bracket here. Uh, it doesn't really connect uh, anything else if you take this off. Um, I So I had to cut a hole here in the bracket so if you do that uh, make sure you clean up the edges real good uh, so nothing scrapes on them and no other wires get hit uh, and for this one here we'll tuck this one under so it doesn't hit that and it just pops up like that all right guys so as you can see not going to be anything here but this is uh how it's going to look when you get in I'm just going to see a little kind of a, a blurb of it um, but here's what the bull bar light is going to do and it's going to do quite a bit uh, nice and bright we'll go around front just real quick As you can see, I think it's 22 or 24 uh, inch light there. Um, I will say that when the light is on and I'm driving with my headlights, uh, you can't really see the light itself, mainly because it's uh, focused more outward instead of like down on the road like headlights are. Um, but if you liked the video, hit that like and subscribe. If you guys uh, have any other questions about the bull bar wiring or the switches in there, um, leave a comment down below and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. Until next time, guys.